Hi everyone, it's Michelle here. Welcome back to Golf with Michelle. Today, I would like to follow up a little bit on the fundamentals of golf, which I'll be talking about stance and posture. All right, it's really important that we have good stance and posture so I can actually swing at a speed that I would like to and keep my balance and have a consistent ball flight. All right, we're gonna start with talking about stance first. All right, I would like for you to grip the club nicely. Have the club laying down on the, on the ground flat. All right, I would like you to start off with both feet together and I would like you to open your stance just about shoulder width. I'm talking about irons from like nine iron to about six iron. This is the width of the stance that you would like to have, okay? So stance about shoulder width. We do not want the stance to be a bit too small if the stance is too small, you sometimes get a little bit unstable, you know, and it's also hard to turn. And if your stance is too wide, it will be even harder to turn, all right? So about shoulder width will be just nice. When I get my stance about shoulder width, I would like to talk a little bit about my feet, all right? I would like for you guys to flare the toes out a little bit. Why I say that is because it will keep you a little bit more stable and it will be easier to rotate and it will be less stressful on the knees and ankles as well, okay? So if I have our toes point forward like that and you can see that my, when I bend my knees, my knees kind of just move a little bit inwards and forward like that. If I do that and when I try to turn, because my knee don't rotate outward, sometimes it will put a little bit pressure and it will injure your knees, all right? So I'll prefer for, for most golfers, to point the both toes just a little bit outwards in order to have a better rotation, you know, less stress on your knee, and it'll be a lot more stable. All right, guys, when we get the stance sorted out, I'm gonna move straight into posture. Posture is quite simple as well. I'll show you guys from this angle. I would like for you to grip the club correctly, all right, and lay your arms on your chest. Just relax like that, okay? Just lay the arms on the chest, all right? Take a good stance, all right? And then from here, I would like for you to keep your back straight, push your hip back, bend forward until the club lay nicely on the ground, okay? Again, just relax your hands, push the hip back, bend forward, and let until the club lays nicely on the ground. All right, from this position, I would like you to just bend your knees a little bit, okay? So this will be a nice setup position. At this setup position, there's a few checkpoints that I would like to talk about. Number one is, the butt of the club should be pointing somewhat at your belt buckle or just right below your belly button, okay? When you get to a nice setup position, I would also like for you to push the handle just a little bit to the left side, which is just slightly left of your belly button, okay? This will be a good setup position, yeah? Another checkpoint is, when you set up nicely, I would like you to make sure that your armpit, your knees, and the balls of your feet are actually in one line, okay? Your armpit, your knees, and the balls of your feet are actually in one line. As you can see that my head is kind of like relaxed like that. I don't want it to be like locked, like straight up. I just like for you just to relax your neck and always stay relaxed as set up. Try not to get too tense. When you get too tense, it's really hard to move the body freely, okay? Just stay relaxed, arms hanging straight down from the shoulder, handle, the hands is just a little bit forward, Again, armpit, knees, and the balls of your feet are in one line, butt of the club pointing your buckle. This will be a nice setup position. All right, guys, if you guys are struggling on the golf course, you're not hitting the shot that you want, just make sure that you check your stance and posture, you check how you set up before you decide if it's a swing error, okay? So that's all I have for stance and posture. I hope you guys follow along. If you guys do like the video, please give me a like, leave me a note, and I'll see you guys in the next